You again? Mm, yeah, I was in the area anyway. But you just walked past me. What's going on here? I'm beginning to feel all dizzy. See, that's the problem. There's a strange guy who pretends to be me. But I don't have time to explain that to you. I gotta go and chase this night prowler. Come on, what are you talking about? How did you manage to walk past me twice? I just read about these wormholes in the space-time continuum. Did you fall into one? No, I don't think there are wormholes in this area. Awful. I just saw this guy. I must stop drinking right away. Here, take this stuff away. It's making my eyes hurt. Ooh, I'm seeing double. Well, maybe you're you're a ghost. Not really. You saw my disgusting double. Can you tell me where he ran off to? No. I could only do that when you prove to me that you're not a ghost. I don't tell ghosts anything at all. Okay, if you really think I'm a ghost, then I could just go to your dear deceased mother and reveal that her little one drinks like a fish, unless... <coughs> All right, all right. The guy just ran along there. Well, there you are. You should only go in bars like this if you're six feet tall and your arms are covered in anchor tattoos. Hmm. Maybe it helps to have a black leather coat, sunglasses, and a 44 Magnum to argue your case. Hey, there's a cork in the garbage can. A cork like that can be useful for all sorts of things. Ah, now I've got him! So that's where the confusion came from. He's wearing the same clothes as me, only less elegantly. It looks like I've created a trend. And what about his face? I don't believe it, he looks exactly like me. It's starting to feel a little uncanny. Guard! Oh, what a horrible voice! One, two, three, four, company stop, attention! You called for me, civilian? Me? Uh, no, uh, I, I think that was a misunderstanding. You can carry on. Company march! One, two, three, four. Halt! It's me who has called you. Arrest this man who looks like me. He's a deceitful crook and has committed severe crimes. What? I've done nothing. Indeed? I can disprove that. I charge you with the following crimes. Theft of rope criminal assault and obstruction of a toll bridge collector. Furthermore, illegal disposal of furniture in the royal wood and, of course, the detestable assumption of a different identity. You scoundrel have claimed to be me, Simon. Of course I did. I am Simon. There. He's doing it again. Obviously a repeating offender. Alex, please tell them who I am. I, well, I don't know. I see two Simons. How should I know who's the right one? Off we go, thug. Take the prisoner away. Company, march. One, two, three, four. 
Don't be afraid, Alex. Soon we will know what the story is with this villain. Abracadabra will question him. He's an excellent inquisitor, a true master of exquisite interrogation. I'll accompany them. I want to see what the wizard does to this false Simon. But, Alex, that's not a good idea. Think of the unimaginable horrors you will have to witness there. The art of interrogation is not something to be observed with amusement. That's why. I'll see to it that Abracadabra won't overdo it. Where on earth am I? It looks even worse than my room at home. Well, almost. Hey, what are they talking about outside? That all sounds suspicious. Very suspicious. But I'll get the truth out of him. <laughs> I have my own special methods. You're the best, venerable wizard. May I just nevertheless mention the paperwork? Oh, yes, sure. Where did I put Form 37A? We need that as well. What's it for? You need it for torturing suspects whose guilt is not That smells proven. like... But when I'm finished Highly him, concentrated pee! The stuff is a danger to the public! The it corrodes the inside of your nose! Ah, here's the form. What does it say here? What's the delinquent's name? Samson? That's an unusual name. Venerable wizard. It says clearly and distinctly, Simon. I can see that myself, stupid. Are you trying to tell me that my sight is going? And I have problems reading application 37A? I... I didn't want to. Uh, you have eagle eyes, honorable wizard. Eagle eyes. Absolutely. But enough of this idle chit-chat. I want to start. I... I would like to be there. A pretty young maiden like you shouldn't watch such horrible things. I can bear it. I think so too. And when do you get the opportunity to watch a master of his trade at work? Just watch how I extract his dark secrets, this murderer, thief, bilker, tax evader, or whatever. Guard, unlock the door and disappear. <coughs> Greetings, venerable delinquent. Allow me to introduce myself. Abracadabra's my name, and I am here to ensure the effective and professional conduct of this interrogation. But we'll see what you're accused of. So you're accused of being Father Christmas's double? A serious crime. Nonetheless, your disguise is deceptively realistic. That's not Father Christmas's double at all. I already interrogated him last month. It was that strange guy with the beard who climbed up and down the mountains and pestered our poor Yetis the whole time. This one here is our Simon's double. Oh yes, I remember. Right, indeed, this one here doesn't have a beard. Simon's double, is that right? Now, we could settle that quickly, but of course I would prefer to settle it slowly. <laughs> Hmm, I think I'll use the neurocerebral water torture on this delinquent first. <laughs> this water torture doesn't frighten me. I'm not scared of water. No? Not really. But what if the water comes in single drops over hours, days, weeks? Most refreshing. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Good, then we'll do it differently. I'll play him a few speed metal records backwards, of course. <laughs> All right, let's listen to a couple of cool speed metal records. But then you can start with the torture, okay? You mean the thought of speed metal played backwards doesn't frighten you? No, but maybe you can give me a couple of your discs for my collection. Hmm, that changes everything, of course. In that case, I'll postpone the torture for the time being and think about something else in peace and quiet. But when do I get out of here? I don't have all the time in the world. The Magic Kingdom is in danger and so on. Impatient, young man. Well, it could take a while before I've thought of something new. A very long while. You still have to confess under torture as well, and serve your sentence. 
Only a few people live to be so old that they get out of here alive. <laughs> Have a nice day. Now I've got a real problem. And even you think I'm a cheat, Alex? Oh, Simon, uh, imposter Simon. Somehow I do want to believe you, but everything is so confusing. You really do remind me of how my Simon was before, and I liked that very much. Hey, I really am an experienced world saver, and if you're honest, you are keen on young, dynamic heroes who also show their feelings, aren't you? Oh, Simon, I don't understand anything anymore. I'd better go before my head bursts. I wish you lots of luck. You'll need it. Hasty. The cell walls are crumbling just from the stench. Hey, that brew has corroded away all the wood. The door's open. Hey, you peeping Tom. Get your saggy backside away from my dungeon door. You wouldn't see anything even if I would sit here stark naked. Oh, I know that voice. It's Goldilocks, the master thief. I know her from a long time ago. I saw her sometimes when she was on the prowl. Hi, Goldilocks. It's me, Simon. Do you remember? Apparently, we have the same kind of problem. Simon? Fancy meeting you here. Hey, that's cool. Get me out of here and we'll escape all together. All together? Is there someone else in your dungeon? That depends. Wait and see. Just come in. I've got a special hairpin. It's perfect to open the front door. Hurry up. The damn door is locked by one of these magic locks. I guess that abracadabra wanted to make sure that I couldn't escape. But I'm sure you'll find a way to unlock your door. A red rug. Hey, it has the same pattern as my cape. This chatterbox has chatted his last time, I hope. Those are glasses for magic deciphering. They're cool. Every Dilton can decipher high-level magic with them. Sadly, they're not allowed to be used in exams at the School of Magic. There's loads of funny signs on it. Seems to be high-level magic. Ah, I can see clearly now. That's door-opening magic. Bet I can use it now without any problems. Hey, the glasses have given up the ghost. The scrolls seem to be too high-level. Let's get started. Uh, do I have to read aloud? Dum dee dum, dum dee doo, and the door is split in two. Hey, it reminds me of those stupid role plays I used to play. It worked! My rant about this silly spell can wait! It's really you, Simon! Someone must have heard my curse. Uh, I, I mean my prayer. Quick, free me from the chain, and then we can escape together. How did you get into this situation? 
Oh, it's a long story. Do you like long-winded stories about ingenious offenses against property? No idea. Told you. In short, I'm here as a consequence of a regrettable misunderstanding and unfortunately all my attempts to escape have been prevented. And now I'm in severe solitary confinement and of course I want to leave as soon as possible. And then a young, oh-so-radiant hero with a silly hat appears. That's the story up until now. How come you can't free yourself? What's that supposed to mean? Are you hinting at my unquestionable abilities as a master thief? Normally it wouldn't be a problem for me to escape, but Abracadabra pulled out all the stops for a modern prison, especially after my last attempt to escape. I could open the door to the dungeon in no time with my hairpin, but the chains in here are quite something. Makes you want to cry. Has your roommate been in this condition for a long time? Him? Well, he was like that when I arrived. A little strange, isn't it? But actually, I couldn't care less. It's much more important to find a way out of here. Don't you agree? Well, I'll just go. Hey, you look like one of the guys who usually materialize in a graveyard. Maybe. But I don't do things like that. I haven't got out into the fresh air for a long time. How did you get here? And why are you a ghost? I'm innocent. I've been unjustly thrown into the dungeon. Innocent? Everybody says that. Welcome to the club. But I really am innocent. Unfortunately, I've got the same problem, though I haven't died of despair as a result. Why did they lock you up? Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I just want to find my eternal rest. But to do that, I must get acquitted. But how would this work? You're dead! Nowadays, the courts are occupied with all sorts of odd cases, but I can't imagine that a dead man will be given a hearing. But I have to find a way into the realm of the dead. Unfortunately, they won't accept me there in my state. My attachment to this world is too strong. They don't like that down there. Could you please help me? You only have to find a way to prove my innocence. I'm sorry, but at the moment I've got my own worries. Maybe later. I don't think you're in very much of a hurry. The dead have all the time in the world. How come most people die without complaining, whereas others become ghosts? No idea. I died just yesterday and don't know too much about the world of ghosts yet. I guess it's because I was incarcerated innocently. It must tie my soul to this dreadful place. Maybe it's just hereditary. A niece of mine has the same problem. She's got it even worse. She lives in the girls' toilet of this weird school and grumbles all day long. I think I've heard about her. Your family seems to have a strong tendency to self-pity. Thanks for the spiritualizing chat. I've got to go now. Ah, a hairpin. I can make good use of that. You bet. You could free me, and then we could escape together. Hmm? I keep hearing together? Hey, rescue me, will you? You owe me something. When she takes that line with me, it makes me even more determined to dig in my heels. After all, I don't have to rescue her. A nice red neckerchief. I won't do that. I'm neither her rescuer, nor am I her hairdresser. The neckerchief can be formed like a cap. If I put it on the glass flask, it looks like a head with my magic cap. 
hey, if I wrap the straw up with the carpet, I will get a nice torso. Hmm, I haven't got anything to link these two objects. But maybe that's not even necessary, if I only have to lie them down close to each other. That almost looks like my wonderful, well-toned body. That almost looks like my well-formed skull. The phony Simon is ready. The door is locked. Surprise, surprise! Oops, the hairpin has got stuck inside the lock. I can't get it out, but at least the door is open. Ha! Huh, I'm outside! I bet it will take this blindworm abracadabra an eternity to realize that I'm not in the dungeon anymore! You made it? Hey, don't let me down! Get me out of here! In my case, it was a miscarriage of justice, but I'm sure there is a good reason why they locked you up here. I don't want to interfere, otherwise there will only be trouble. Enjoy yourself! Good luck! Ha <laughs> ha, I'm out! Now I want to see that parlor magician's face when he finds out I'm not in the cell anymore. So, that was that. I'm free again to return to my world. The goal has been met. Congratulations, you've done it. That was easier than expected. This is a happy end if there ever was one. Think again. I bet that Simon imposter is planning some trick. That's why he had me arrested, to get me out of his way. I must find out more about him. I just don't know how yet. Hey, what's that over there? It reads, Invitation to the first general meeting of the friends and supporters of Swampy Society. Meeting place, clubhouse at the marketplace. Hey, I know this Swampy. Now he's got his own society? Bizarre. I guess it's a good idea to ask him about the false Simon. The little chap seems to have made many friends, and he's so simple-minded he'll never get suspicious about my questions. That's a stroke of luck. I just hope you won't get on my nerves about that horrible swampy stew again. I should avoid my double until I find out more about him. He would just have me thrown into the dungeon again. <laughs>